battle truth in my point of view. I don't know you, so I'm not a hater. I could only give you the facts that's written on these papers. And since we have no dealings, therefore the court can care the less about your feelings. I'm the Honorable Malachi Markillian, your presiding judge, chairman, and spokesperson for the one united front. You are my witnesses and jury. You may be seated. Court is now in session. Let's talk about it. Okay, check this out. B dot, daylight, loaded lux, or whoever believed the same way. As y'all guy, Sonetta, whoever he is, he called me on the phone after I destroyed Captain Tazariak on his own platform. It was a body bag, devastating blow to the Hebrew Israelite community. So he wanted to take it upon himself to avenge him, even though he don't believe the same, but just like, or oh, I can take him down. Let him sit in my interrogation room. He called me on the phone and offered me the challenge. I told him, okay, let me check out what you do before I agree to it. I need to see what you're doing. Make sure it ain't no clown stuff, no disrespectful things. I got to listening at some of the things he was doing in his interrogation room. I'm like, that's easy. That's water. I definitely accept, but I also noticed this. Oh, what about you, though? Okay, I accept your challenge on one condition. I get to question you also. So you can throw me questions, I can throw you questions. He got afraid. He didn't want none of that. He like, no, no, it don't go like that. Why come it don't? Shouldn't that be fair? If you're allowed to ask me questions, why can't I ask you none? If you're allowed to ask me questions pertaining to what I believe and why I believe, why can't I do the same to you? You say you believe. You act like you've been studying. You act like you know why you believe the way you do. Why are you afraid to be interrogated by me? Oh, it don't work like that. Okay, check this out. I'm just asking y'all on some real stuff. Fair is fair. It don't work like that. Ain't that not being fair? I would want to question, what is he afraid of? I would want to question, what's the big deal? <laughs> but guess what? This is why I'm doing this blog. Because I want y'all to apply the pressure on him. I want y'all to tell him, why you ducking that man? He agreed to do it, so why you won't agree to do it? Fair is fair. Fair is fair. Neither one of us have leverage. Let's just be fair. If you want to bring me to your platform thinking you're going to shame me before your community, then guess what? Allow me the liberty also to question you the same way you want to question and interrogate me. How come that's not fair? So I want y'all to apply the pressure on him. Whether y'all do or not, I'm going to get them anyway. Whether you do or not, I'm going to get them anyway. What I'm doing right now is raising the awareness. It's going to happen. Whether he want to pick his shame or not, it's going to happen. However he want to pick it. He either be shamed on his platform or he's going to be shamed on mine. And what I mean by that is not in no disrespectful way. What I'm talking about, as I break down his game, trick, manipulations, and all, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do all that. I'm going to take all them so-called Bible contradictions. And you know what I'm going to do with them Bible contradictions? I'm going to take them and just show y'all how they're not contradictions at all. And it's going to be so clear. It's going to make so much sense. Y'all going to be puzzled. Y'all going to be puzzled. This will be another victory for Jesus Christ. So be that in daylight. Get your mans ready. Talk to him. Call him on the phone. Tell him why you ain't accepting that brother challenge. You think you say you smart. You say you wise. You could defend what you believe. If he agreed to come on, why can't you agree? Ain't that fair? Ain't that a fair? He said he cool with y'all. He said that he... 
in the conscious community. He was smack into battle rap. That's who he is in the conscious community. Is it? Is that y'all representative? A brother who only uh, appears to be smart and wise when he's sitting in the seat, but can't handle to be in the hot seat himself? Right. I don't call that smart at all. I don't call that smart at all. What you afraid of? What are you afraid of? See, these are the victories that I love in Christ. Sonetta will be another trophy. It will be another trophy. But it's not even for him. I want to do this for the other people that are watching who may not know, who may not understand, who may be at difference in odds and confusion because they don't know. I don't really care about converting him. He's stuck in his ways. He's stuck in his evil, twisted ways already. What I want to do is expose it. I want to take what he did, lied on Jesus, lied on God, blaspheme God, mock God. I want to take that, expose it for the world to see, break down his wisdom and knowledge and just show you that it's not at all, then show you just how foolish he is. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. And I want everybody to see it. And I'm going to keep promoting this. He has 48 hours to respond. If he don't respond, I'm just going to start bombing. Piece after piece after piece. Listen, you got 48 hours to respond, Sonetta. If you do not respond in 48 hours, you will not get this opportunity again. Again. And I'm going to let you live with that shame. And you're going to be known as that through your whole community. Your whole community going to let you know you ducked that Christian dude. You talk all that stuff, you duck that Christian dude who agreed to do the interrogation because you didn't want him interrogating you also. You want to put somebody else in the seat but don't want to be in it yourself. You ducked him. What was you afraid of? And guess what? Even though you ducked him, he took all your questions, put them on his platform, and answered every last one of them precisely. Precisely. So you're going to live in your shame. Pick your poison. I'm giving you the opportunity to either do it on your platform or you watch it on mine and you're going to be embarrassed and anything you throw up there and put up there watch how I destroy it by the spirit of the living God the same one you mock and blaspheme and I got questions for you you cannot answer I'm going to give you another one I'm going to give you another one Sinatra I gave you one on my last blog. I'm going to give you another one. I'm going to give you 10 questions I know you're not going to be able to answer. And it's going to break you down so bad, you're going to look like a simpleton. Here's my other question to you. Is creation as we see it, the universe, the earth, and everything in it, is it intelligence? Is creation intelligence? See, that may seem like a simple question, but it's actually not. This is a man who believes in nothing. So he believes nothing created something. Nothing that does not have intelligence created something that does have intelligence. And you cannot have intelligence unless a mind is behind the intelligence. However you answer this question, Sonetta, it destroys you and everything you believe. So that's my question to you. B dot. Daylight. Get your guy ready. He does fall. This will be the fall of Sonetta as we know him. And anybody else that believes the way he do and follow under his rule. Thank God for Jesus Christ who invade and engage the enemy. And I'm proud to just be a vessel. And this will be an eye opener to a dark community and world that disrespect, mock, spit, and blaspheme the living God. And God is coming back to claim what is rightfully his. 
the souls of the lost at y'all expense. And this is battle truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. Sonetta. Your time starts now. We got 48 hours. By this time Tuesday, I start bombing. I start bombing. I'm waiting for you to respond.